the story on through a wrench into the number Me Too movement, with some feminist writers dismissing the incident as a bad date that should have remained private. Others welcomed the piece for spurring a debate over deeper cultural attitudes that normalize aggressive behavior toward women. Media ethics experts say it's not easy to determine what constitutes a legitimate story of sexual misconduct in the midst of a social movement that has emboldened people to speak out on subjects once considered taboo. What takes this out of the realm of a really bad date and into the realm of something that is publicly significant, asked Ed Wasserman, dean of the journalism school at the University of California, Berkeley. It's a little borderline. The woman told that she eventually decided the incident was a sexual assault and said she was angered when she saw Ansari wearing a Times Up pin at the Golden Globe Awards. The pin referred to a movement against sexual misconduct in Hollywood. Feminist writers, other actors and media commentators were left to debate the public value of an anonymous tale about a confusing encounter at a time when more women are speaking publicly about sexual assault. The story's reporter and editors at, which is less than two years old and says it has three million readers, have publicly defended their news judgment. We stand by our story, said site editor Amanda Ross. Is published by Tab Media, a company that has received funding from Rupert Murdoch. Ryan Thomas, an assistant professor at the Missouri School of Journalism, said the piece lacked the rigor of other stories that used multiple sources to establish a clear pattern of abuse by prominent men like Harvey Weinstein and Louis C.K. Few have called into question the veracity of the report, particularly because Ansari himself did not dispute it. Wasserman, the Berkeley professor, said he finds it difficult to criticize the piece for crossing any line.